Hey, has anyone seen my shirt? It's a button down, like a faded salmon color. You mean your pink shirt? <laughs> faded salmon color? No, I haven't seen your pink shirt. <laughs> what is up guys, Tim DeSaint here. Hope you're all having a beautiful day. And today we are recreating outfits from the best show of all time, Friends. And we're doing all six characters too, male and female. Let's get into it. Starting off with Ross. Throughout the show, he's often seen wearing these relaxed fitting, colorful button downs over a white t-shirt and tucked in some loose jeans. So I have the t-shirt, I have the jeans, but I wanted to take it a step further and find his favorite shirt, the infamous Salmon shirt. After relentlessly scavenging through the internet to find something that looked alike, I finally found the one. The shirt is from Zara. It's got a nice relaxed fit, that sweet <coughs> faded salmon color. And I paired that with a simple white tee, tucked it all into some relaxed fit jeans and finished it off with dad shoes, of course, in classic Ross fashion. So Ross probably would have worn black sneakers because that would have clashed more with the look and he was meant to be a not very fashionable character but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I chose white instead to go with the t-shirt. To be honest, I actually kind of like this look. It's surprisingly similar to the current trends. With silhouettes becoming more relaxed these days and dad shoes being all the rage, I wouldn't be surprised to see similar outfits to this in the street. Next up, we have Monica. Ross's dear sister definitely had a cleaner aesthetic, and I don't think she gets enough credit for her style. It was subdued, not very loud, but always clean and put together. When I think of Monica, I picture blue jeans, a crisp white shirt, and black Chelsea boots, which made it very easy for me to recreate her look, because all three are classics and timeless menswear pieces that I already had in my closet. This is definitely a timeless look that could just as easily be worn today for both women and men. Don't forget to finish off with a minimal watch for a classy touch to enhance the look. And if I could describe Monica's style in two words, it would be casual elegance. So no one told you life was gonna be this way. I hope I don't get demonetized for that. Probably my favorite character on the show, or at least the one who gave me the most belly laughs for sure, Chandler Bing. Chandler's MO was definitely casual and cozy, but in a grandpa sort of way. The men wore a lot of sweater vests and waistcoats. Unfortunately, I had neither in my closet, and I spent hours searching for something that would work, but to no avail. So instead, I grabbed a slightly oversized cardigan, which is not exactly what he wore, but it's definitely in the same kind of vibe, and I paired it with all Chandler classics. Denim shirt, relaxed beige trousers, and derbies. I actually got inspired by this look of his, and besides the waistcoat that I replaced with the cardigan, I think I did a pretty good job at recreating the Chandler aesthetic. Out of all the characters, he probably had the style to which I relate to the least, and I probably wouldn't combine these items this way if I was dressing for myself, but it's definitely a fine look for an older gentleman. It has a warm, cozy feel to it, like you're about to give your nephew some wise advice over a cup of tea. Smelly cat, smelly cat, what are they feeding you? Phoebe was another difficult one to recreate because she had an eclectic style. For me, she's the definition of free-spirited and bohemian. And she would often be seen wearing funky patterns, garments with fringes, prominent jewelry, but the overarching theme was always that carefree, hippie-esque vibe. So I wanted to stick to that same vibe as closely as possible. For the base layer, I thought this mesh t-shirt was perfect. It's different from your standard t-shirt, it looks cool and bohemian, I could even see a pirate wearing this. For the pants, I grabbed these straight leg brown pants with a full break at the hem because she didn't really wear tight clothing, so a straight leg felt appropriate. For the shoes, my first choice would have been brown suede desert boots, but I don't have any, so these simple Doc Martens derbies were a good second option. Finally, I added this light gray trucker jacket as she was often seen wearing trucker jackets and it really ties the look in nicely. Next up, we have the man, the myth, the player, Joey Tribbiani. When I think of Joey, I instantly picture black leather jacket and not the rugged biker kind of jacket. His was more of a leather blazer. And in some episodes, it almost looks like he's wearing a leather overshirt type of thing. So 
I don't know, maybe he had several jackets. I actually did not own a leather jacket, but as I was scavenging through the internet, I found this leather overshirt from Kaz, and not only was it perfect for recreating a Joey outfit, I could also really see myself wearing it. So, girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I got it. The rest was easy. Joey's MO was leather jacket, black tee, black jeans, and black boots. To be honest, I would totally rock something like this today. Maybe I would just switch the slim jeans for some wider trousers to make it a little bit more me, my style, but the rest of it is on point. Last but definitely not least, we have the fashion icon of the show, Miss Rachel Green. I wanted to recreate Rachel's iconic outfit with the checkered skirt and white mock neck. And I do not own a skirt, definitely wouldn't look as good as her in a skirt, but I do have a pair of gray and blue checkered trousers. I know, I know, it's not red, but it's the closest thing I had. I paired this with a white mock neck, which I do have, black derbies, and of course the long white socks. And obviously the outfit wouldn't be complete without a silver watch underneath the t-shirt because Rachel never forgot her accessories. So what do we think? Did I do the Friends characters justice? I hope I did and that I'm not gonna have a sea of hardcore Friends fans come at me in the comments. But for real, Friends is such a legendary show. I think anyone born before 2000 would agree and watched it at least once if not three times. And on that note, I think I'm gonna go watch an episode. Enjoy your day, evening, afternoon, guys, wherever you are. Keep dressing with intention and I will see you in the next video. Peace.